the spokesperson for the Ministry of External Affairs, Vikas Swaroop, has said that there is welcome news from Libya. Two of the four detained Indians have been brought back safely to the University of Sirth. Our efforts continue for the remaining two. Two Indians released are from Raichur and Bengaluru. Hyderabad Indians still in detention. This is what the spokesperson for Government of India, Vikas Swaroop, has just tweeted. And I want to bring in India Today's Smita Sharma for more on this. Smita, give us details of this good news story. Well, uh, you know, it's a partial relief of sorts. Remember, there were four men um, at the end of the day, Gaurav, and the other two so families are obviously still under much uh, tension. But what we are also learning is that the two uh, men who have been released, these are actually the men who belong to uh, Hyderabad, and uh, the, their names are Lakshmi Kant and Vijay Kumar. So uh, these were the two men who had also been working at University of Sid. We have seen some quick negotiations and, you know, some, uh, in fact, interventions happen. We do not know really at this point as to what transpired behind behind the scene, but uh, the government is going to be very, very careful about the kind of information that it gives out, given the fact that the other two Indians are still in detention, something which the government is not calling an abduction for security reasons. But these two men have been, uh, for, for the moment, brought in to University of Sirth, from where arrangements are being made for them, uh, you know, either to be brought in to Tripoli, where the Indian mission is, and then, of course, to facilitate their return back to India, because that is what they were headed for on Thursday stay when they were detained at the checks post some 50 kilometers okay. from Tripoli. Gaurav. Okay, stay with me Smita. So the good news or the partial good news is that two released are from Raichur and Bengaluru. T.S. Sudhir, editor South, joins me with the latest from Hyderabad. Uh, Hyderabad will have to wait a little longer uh, because the Hyderabad professors are still in detention, Sudhir. Their families, at least their hope must be up waiting for some good news. Absolutely. In fact, uh, the initial bit of information that uh, the, uh, one of the families in Hyderabad got was that all the four have been released. But now that we are getting confirmation from the MEA that only the two people who are from Karnataka, from Raichur and Bengaluru have been released. The two uh, professors, Professor Balram and Professor Gopi Krishna, are still detained by the ISIS is what the information that is coming in from the MEA. So obviously the family is very anxious in Hyderabad, but at the same time hopeful that perhaps uh, going by what they have done in the case of the two professors from Karnataka, they may also release their colleagues from Hyderabad at the earliest. Okay. Uh, Sudhir, do we know any details about the circumstances in which they were released or held earlier? Uh, no, uh, no details available as yet. It will be for the MEA to kind of uh, talk about whether any kind of interlocutors were used to kind of convince the ISIS militants to uh, release them or whether the militants actually uh, released them on their own. The details not yet known at the moment, but yes, only after they come back uh, to uh, a, a place where the Indian embassy is or any of the Indian embassy officials are able to get in touch with the two professors, would they be also be able to critically know about the condition of the two professors from Hyderabad who are still in captivity? Okay. Smita, uh, the government, of course, will be tight-lipped like it was even last time when the Indian nurses were released uh, from ISIS captivity. But do we know how the government is moving about in this case? securing the release of two professors and trying for the remaining two? Well, the one uh, piece of information that we do have through our sources, you know, of uh, some of the people that I've spoken to in Libya is that the government actually was in touch uh, uh, to, uh, with the officials at the University of Sid, where these Indian uh, were working. And uh, in fact, one of the Indian was also at the Jufra, the uh, Sid University campus in Jufra. But uh, this university, which had been shut down in February because uh, Sid had fallen to ISIS forces, so uh, some of the officials there, you know, uh, they had been apparently uh, involved in sort of uh, the dialogue or the communication which was established. But remember, you know, Gaurav, they really would not want to give out too many operational details, keeping in mind that uh, two of the Indians from Hyderabad are still in detention. You know, these are moments of uh, high tension, of course, for the families of these two men, who, one of them who comes in from Sri Kula, Kula, Kalam as well. So uh, for the government, clearly, Sushma Swaraj has just tweeted. She has expressed some sort of a relief. She says that the four Indians abducted in Libya, 
I am happy we have been able to secure the release of Lakshmi Kant and Vijay Kumar trying for other two. So clearly, as far as the Ministry of External Affairs goes, we have seen this, uh, you know, right from the moment the NDA government came into, of course, effect, that uh, Sushma Swaraj has personally been intervening in all such matters also and supervising uh, and monitoring the situation as well. The, monitor, uh, the situation is also monitored by uh, NSA Ajit Doval in PMO, but all these people keeping a watch there. The events happened on 29th of July. 11 p.m. was when the Indian mission had been, of course, informed, but in less than 48 hours, at least two of the men have been freed now, and they're just hoping and have their fingers crossed about the safety and, of course, freedom of the other two in detention. What also remains extremely interesting at this point of time, uh, the government flew in special flights uh, to bring people back from Yemen. They've done that from Iraq in the past. Is there an advisory not to be in Libya and were these four in Libya despite that advisory? Well, yes, Gaurav, you know, it's uh, not just one advisory. Several uh, travel advisories have actually been issued by the Ministry of External of Affairs over the last many months, uh, asking people not to enter that conflict zone ca country and also to leave the country as well. And the Indian government in this last one year itself, you know, while there were major evacuations, if you remember, one of the first evacuation operations for the government of India when the UP government was in power in 2011, but the current government has also conducted evacuations in the last one year itself, some 3,000 500 Indians have come back from Libya, but around 2,000 Indians still continue to be in Libya. They cite economic compulsions. They say, or some of them say that they have been in Libya for too long. They do not want to get displaced, which is the reason why we still have, in fact, uh, less than a dozen officials or maybe less than half a dozen officials actually at the Indian mission. While our ambassador is in, uh, is uh, you know not in Tripoli, uh, he is uh, really in uh, Tunis and also. Covered Okay. Malta as well. So it's very difficult for the government to, in a way, forcefully evacuate people. We have seen that whether it be Yemen, whether it be Libya, uh, whether it be Iraq. But uh, for now, the government is only hoping that people will be much more careful in the days to come yes. about the decisions they make. T.S. Sudhir, Editor South, also with me. And Sudhir, is it just financial compulsions or is it a great working opportunity that these professors are still there in Libya. Uh, the money that Indians earn abroad, and especially in oil-rich countries, forces them to, to be there despite the hardships or, or the fear of terror. Well, uh, Gaurav, the impression one gets is that uh, they never thought that they would be at risk. I guess most people tend to think like that, even though the conditions in Libya over the past uh, many years hasn't really been very conducive. Even the family of Gopi Krishna, who, who was with uh, the Gopi Krishna till 2010, said that they never felt at any stage that they would be targets or they would be made to feel uh, unsafe. So obviously they were going around uh, about their uh, business at the university teaching, and this particular professor, Gopi Krishna, who was a professor of computer science, uh, obviously never felt any direct threat. It was only when they were actually coming back to India for their annual vacation that they were okay. uh, detained uh, uh, by the ISIS militants. So obviously okay. this has taken the families by complete surprise.